Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the care and propagation of the Calathea or the Jopertia Roseopicta angela. So Calatheas have been reclassified into the Jopertia uh, plant family and I'm not sure where the differences are. I'm sure some of the Calatheas retain their names, but the majority of them are now Jopertias. This is a really, really beautiful cultivar, which means that it's actually a hybrid. It's got this beautiful peacock-like, peacock feather-like leaves that actually fold up at night. And this plant in my hand is actually a very old plant, about a year and a half. And I have actually killed it maybe more than one time and it just kept coming back to life. Really quickly about the care, even though I do have a video dedicated on Calathea care, which I'm gonna link up above. In terms of light, they like to be in low light, very low light. If you want to give them medium light, you can, but do not give them bright and direct and do not give them direct sunlight. They will absolutely curl up, they will not do well, and they will grow leaves that are not as beautiful as this because their leaves will become more dull colored if you give them brighter light, at least in my experience here in Southeast Asia. And they do like to be in high humidity. Indoors or outdoor humidity is actually fine for me in my, where I live in Indonesia. If you want to increase humidity for them, you can group them together with other calatheas or begonias or other house plants. And you can also sit them on a pebble tray of water to raise the ambient humidity, but never ever miss the leaves because the leaves are actually very susceptible to bacteria and fungi. So when you miss them, especially indoors, the water's gonna stay on the leaves, inviting bacteria and fungus to the leaves. In terms of watering, it has to be paired with my potting mix guide because I actually give this guy my Forest 4 potting mix, which I'm gonna link up above what it's made out of. But you can also replicate the same kind of potting mix by doing something really, really airy. So a lot of perlite, and in my case, I even do terracotta pot with holes in them. This is because in my climate, where it's like 60 to 90% humidity, they actually rot very easily. So again, depending on where you are, the care is gonna be very, very different. But in my case, very airy potting mix, very airy pots, they love that. And I water them very frequently. This one gets hosed down, I would say lightly about twice a day. So just take my hose and just, aim at a general area basically and it's doing really well. It really likes that kind of setup. So it's always going to be humid but there's going to be air movement around the roots. That's the kind of condition they like. You do not want to be dried out at all. And some people say that tap water or minerals in tap water may actually crisp the leaves. As far as I know my water is not really that highly treated. It's probably just groundwater that's just pumped back up. Probably filtered though. I'm not sure. I don't really know what my new home water and they are actually quite prone to spider mites. Uh, so this guy actually, I don't know if they actually did have spider mites or not, but some, whenever I look at this red back here, I'm always like worried, like is there little specks on it? Is there tiny little things that move? Because um, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly for this one, but for the other Calatheas, they are pretty oftentimes attacked by spider mites. Then the way that you would treat for that, I'm gonna link a video up above on pest control. You can do chemical means, you can do natural means. And today I'm going to propagate this guy. This is actually two plants. I don't know if you can tell from here. So the tip, if you want to get bushy calatheas, which we all do, we want these massive pots of calatheas, you're going to need more than one calathea in a pot. So one plant actually looks like this. It kind of looks like a banana tree. I don't know if you know what I mean. It's like left, right, left, right. So it's going to have continuous growth that way. And then you're going to have nodes where the leaf would die off before. So that is actually one stem of a plant, which we will probably look at when we propagate this later. They will also shoot out rhizomes horizontally down below. So that's gonna put out more pups, more babies. So if you leave them alone, you let, just let them put out pups and let them just basically divide themselves, it's gonna get uh, pretty bushy pretty fast. All right, so the first order of business would be to unpop this and see what we have. Hopefully we'll have some pups down below, some rhizomes that are that I, we can propagate. Actually, I see that this plant here is trying to put out a whole new uh, vine here. This is a whole new plant coming out. Because this is not connected to this. As you can see from here, this is actually one plant. This in my hand. And that's another plant behind. So this is a whole new one that's trying to come out. I normally would actually wait for it to come out first before I separate them. Because now I think the pup may not survive. But oh well, we're in the middle of filming already. Not a lot to work with. I guess this can be its own plant. Hang on. So if you see here, this is not belonging to this clump. So you can break this off and it can become its own clump. 
There you go. And then down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this right here. All right. So I've essentially basically taken this apart. And normally if I was a professional, I could probably cut this even more. It's a little tuber here. You know what? I'm actually going to do it. It can become its own plant. They're kind of like gingers, basically. Imagine what ginger shape looks like. This little thing, it should put out something, some, some new growth out of it. If I, it has growing eye, just chop it up, cut it up. Yeah. And just to be a bit more greedy, one more time. I'm basically cutting it up like crazy. So this is like, imagine like a ginger root, basically. Fingers crossed on this one. All right, so we've got this one top cutting that I'm gonna just plant back into its uh, pot here. Now, because it lost a lot of its uh, foliage, I'm not gonna pot, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not bury this too deep in the potting mix. Today it can be a little bit more airy and fluffy as I don't wanna overwater it. Yeah, maybe like this shallow will do. They don't need a lot of soil at this time. I may add a little bit more as they, it grows older, uh, bigger. And this other one, I'm going to pot it right here in the plastic pot. I need to be careful with plastic pots. Do not overwater. It's got less places for the water to, for the moisture to run into the escape. Kind of a mental note to myself because I am an overwaterer. And I want to keep these cuttings in a dry, in a dry, in a low light area. For all these rhizomes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bury them. They're not too deep though. You don't want to, you don't want to suffocate them. They do need to be somewhere near the surface of the potting mix. Normally I would plant these all in different pots, but I'm running out of pots, I'm running out of space. So I'm just gonna cram them all in, in one area. All right, just keep them nice and loose and airy in here. And I just wanna keep it humid um, inside. So not compacted, not soggy. This one I'm afraid to mess with because I don't want to lose this little guy here. This little growth point. It looks like a beautiful plant that will come out of it. You know what, for this one, because it, and look at how beautiful the top is. This is going to be my parent plant. I'm going to leave it alone. I know this is a pretty conservative propagation for me. Um, so yeah, we've got this parent plant, which I'm going to pot up in here. And then top cutting. This is a separate from the top cutting and we've got two of these cuts and I guess I will see you guys in a few months here is a two months update I think we have one new leaf that came out can't remember which one it is this one this is the new leaf that is pretty big actually from this parent plant or rather the top cutting rather and this one cutting is put out a new leaf it's going to unroll anytime now. And that one is not doing anything yet, but it's very much alive after two months. And all this baby, nothing has happened yet. So I'm gonna give it more time. I'm gonna give you guys an update, but it's been raining every day. So yeah, I hope I didn't rot any of these plants. And this is the smallest one of the cutting. And actually these guys do like low light. Um, and these guys are putting out leaf after leaf. I did notice that they put out a leaf, but then a lot of them would die off. This beautiful new leaf here. Um, but again, they do like to be in low light to bring out these beautiful reds, beautiful vibrant colors. Um, but I, this may have been a little bit too much water, too much rain for it. I've never seen these dry out at all. And they do like to dry out a bit between watering, but not for long. They do like to be in a forest floor or, or an airy potting mix. And actually for me, what I would, would have done is I would have taken a, a chopstick and kind of aired out the potting medium a bit, but I didn't have the time to do it. But these guys are very much alive. And I think given proper care, a remedy in their care, they can take off. So I may start doing that. I'm going to be moving in a few months time. So I actually what I might do is combine these into one pot because I'm not selling plants anymore. I'm closing down the store. So if I have this in a bushy pot, they will one, uh, be less likely to be overwatered because they have a lot more root system there to take in the water. And it will also look better as a full pot of this. Look at how gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching. I'm at Botanist on Instagram. If you want to DM me on any questions regarding plant care and propagations, I'll try my best to get back to you. Meanwhile, do take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Bye.